I think she's like this is the post oak artist. Uh, it's not What's up guys and um, hello welcome to another video it's not gonna be the same type of video it's gonna be a little bit different I think you might already know why but let's go back let's go back to the very beginning okay all right I'm gonna go ahead and say that uh, blogging is coming back in 2020 I've been seeing a lot of uh, all the creators that I normally watch on YouTube, like Peter McKinnon, Potato Jet, uh, Jesse Driftwood, all those awesome guys, they're starting to do a lot more vlogging, and that is awesome. So, I told you guys, vlogging is coming back in 2020. Now, I did make that video a while back, a couple of months ago. And, uh, you know, it was just like a little small trend back then that slowly kind of became uh, bigger and bigger, kind of like a snowball effect. And, uh, and now, well, now you got Casey Neistat daily blogging for over i don't know like eight or nine days now i think you have cody warner also blogging every single day and you have other creators that i also follow starting to get more into that blog life i'm excited i'm excited about this uh, uh part trend that we're going through and uh you know i'm excited for myself because i love to blog i love to talk to the camera even though I'm not that good yet, I feel like I'm getting a little bit better and better, not only making them and in front of the camera, but also the editing part behind the scenes. We're gonna talk about the pros and then we're gonna talk about the cons and, uh, and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts and then we're out. Then we're out of here. This is gonna be a short video, I promise. All right, so one of the main things about blogging is stressing out about what you're gonna be filming. Every single day, you have to make a new interesting movie that thousands of people want to watch. If you're a master like Casey Neistat at storytelling, then, you know, maybe it's not so hard for you. But for someone who just has like a daily, normal, everyday life, it's kind of hard to come up with creative ways to daily blog every single day about situations that are happening in your house. So that one's what's number one. And uh, that is, you know, stressing too much about what you're going to be filming and uh, yeah, just stress in general. So number two, we have where, you know, there is never any privacy no more, you know. Uh, you're trying to be with your family. For those of you who do have family, you know, you try to be with them, hang, like hang out with them maybe after a long day of work. And, you know, daily blogging requires for you to blog all of those special moments, um, which is kind of invading your privacy in a sense, right? We have people like Matty Hapoya, which daily blog and they do a lot of their family. So does, you know, Cody, Cody Warner and all these people. So, and, uh, you know, I just don't think that uh, that's cool all the time. You know, we, we, we need a little bit of privacy to be with our kids, to be, you know, with our girlfriend's wife. And um, yeah, so this is kind of a little bit invading a lot of that privacy that we all uh, need. Number three, um, 
people around you feel a little bit freaked out when they know that you're daily blogging. You constantly have a camera in your in, in your face and in other people's faces. Yeah, you really don't want to uh, freak people out. And I don't know, a lot of people are not comfortable yet with other people blogging around them or they might just feel a little bit weird. They uh, might start acting unnatural and it just makes everything a lot more not so raw you know that's what daily blog is all, all about about the raw part of it and i believe you know when people know that they're in camera they might act a different way and you know that could potentially make your videos not so interesting so the fourth one and this is just a bonus one and it's burnout <clears throat> you eventually are going to burn out if you i mean I, I don't know how casey neistat and these people blog for like daily blog for years you know that's gotta be hard. And I applaud those guys. I love their content. I watch it every single day. Like I, I watch Casey Neistat every single day. I love it. I, I love the way he, he like tells stories. And um, burnout, eventually it'll catch up to you. Yeah, it's, it's a hard beast uh, to overcome. So burnout will eventually hit, especially if you are not so, uh, I guess, trained or but um, yeah, so those are all the cons. Now let's hear about some positive stuff, all right? But let's go back to the studio. All right, guys. So now let's talk about some positive stuff and uh, some of the pros that I think daily blogging has. So first thing, and this is probably one of the main and most important things about daily blogging, and that is, uh, you know, at some point you can go back to that particular moment and reminisce, remember the old times, basically take that uh, memory, capture it and leave it logged and you can go back to that video at any point in time. I think that's, uh, that's a very awesome pro when it comes to daily blogging. So let's go to number two, number, number two. Okay, so number two, I feel that if you do this enough times, if you daily blog every single day, you will eventually become a better storyteller and a better editor. With no doubt, that is 100% true. Uh, the more that you do something with anything, not just video, you will become better at it. I guarantee you in those 100 days, you will definitely improve your storytelling and and you're editing so that is a massive massive pro uh and a massive plus to to daily blogging all right and uh the last one this is another pro and that is you know people's lives are interesting now not everybody's life is interesting but if you're a good storyteller you can definitely make stories every single day whether they're five minutes long whether they're, they're one minute long if you can do that then uh you know it's awesome capturing those raw moments unfiltered it's life unfiltered it's like a reality show with uh with a particular person that you like to watch on youtube you know for example i like baby warner a lot and i watch his content constantly yeah so having this kind of like reality show on unfiltered it's very raw i just definitely 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 like that and um yeah those are those are some of the stuff that i that i like about daily blogging i'm gonna start i'm definitely gonna start doing it i'm gonna first try to do one whole week which is gonna be hard. I mean, I don't even know how people do these things and then some of them get drone shots. I just don't know. Yeah, so those are the pros and cons of daily blogging. Now, daily blogging is coming back in 2020 as we've seen it. Casey Neistat, all those guys are back daily blogging. I think it's a beautiful time right now. So if you have a camera and have been wanting to do it, just go ahead and push record and go out there and do it. There's no better time than now, post it, don't think about it, just do it. And um, and yeah, that's basically what I think about it. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Make sure you click and hit the notification bell so you can get notified for future videos. And, and I will see you guys next week. Peace.